Hey everyone, today I'm going to go through the basics of building out function parameters in C++. Primarily, we'll be focusing on the difference between passing by value and passing by reference. First, it's important we have an understanding of what a function parameter even is. We'll start by writing some code to illustrate this concept. In our code, we'll want to build out a simple function that swaps two numbers. So we'll start by building out our basic C++ file. We'll include IOStream and make sure we're using the standard namespace. <clears throat> so now we have our basic C++ code and we're going to want to take two numbers and swap them using a function call. So to do this, we'll set up our first number, which we'll call int a. We'll set that to three, and then int b will be set to five. Now we'll want to print out to the user what numbers are being put into the function before the function and then what numbers are being printed out after the function. So to do this we'll say C out and we'll have a title of before function Put a space in there. And then here is where we'll make the function call. We have yet to write the functions yet, so. And then we'll have a label for after the function where we will print to our user A and B. <clears throat> so for our first function, we'll pass these uh, parameters by value. So pass by value is a method of passing arguments to a function that will copy the actual value of the argument into the formal parameter of the function. So to do this, we'll write void pass by value. And this is our formal parameter, which will take in an int x and y, our two numbers. And now we want our function to swap these numbers. So within our function, we'll create a third parameter which we'll call int z and we'll set that equal to x. Now remember uh, C++ reads the code right to left so we're setting x equal to z. And th then we'll set x equal to y and we'll set y equal to z. And now we'll make our function call. And this will take in A and B. We'll give that a save. And we'll compile our code. Now, when we run our code, we see that the function we set up, the pass by value function, doesn't do the intended swapping, which we want our program to swap these two numbers. And this is because when we pass by value, the changes are made to the parameter inside the function, but they have no effect on the argument. Uh, so think of the values that are being passed as nothing more than copies. C++ defaults to passing by value. 
So in order to actually make this swap happen, we're going to want to pass by reference. And in order to do this, we'll write a very similar function with a few changes. So let's start by writing void pass by reference. We'll leave the formal parameter blank by now and fill in the function with the same body as our last function, uh, creating that third uh, integer z that is set equal to x, x equal to y, and y equal to z. And now the difference between the syntax of pass by value and pass by reference is that when we're writing a pass by reference function, we take in our formal parameters with this ampersand before the variable name. So you'll see int and x and int and y. Alright, it's best not to think of this as and. Just think of it as the pass by reference syntax uh, ampersand. And then we'll change our function call to the pass by reference function. We'll give this a save. And now when we go to run our code, we'll compile it again. We'll run pass by and we see that the program has the intended output of swapping our A and B integers uh, so we put in 3 and 5 and we have the output of 5 and 3. And so what's happening here? When we pass by reference, we're actually copying the reference of the argument into the formal parameter. And once inside the function, the reference is used to access the actual argument. This means that changes made to the parameter affect the past argument. And now you can see the importance of pass by value versus pass by reference, especially when we're working with functions in which we want to have an effect on the actual uh, value in our code. This is an important um, this is an important lesson to learn in C++ and it will surely help you in understanding the functionality of your code. And that's it for the difference between pass by value and pass by reference. Thanks for watching.